All right, so let's talk about Brouwer approximations. And so what a Brouwer approximation is, is it's basically uh, an approximation that allows us to more easily solve for the um, simultaneous uh, equations that we have with the mass um, action expressions and the electroneutrality conditions. So it just makes it a little bit easier um, to solve these. And so basically what the Brouwer approximation is, is it takes one positive defect and one negative defect and what that's doing is it's assuming that the um, one positive and one negative is the majority defect. And so it allows us to kind of ignore the others. So let's say that uh, electrons and electron holes are our majority defect. So it basically says that the others are so low that we can just assume that they're zero. And that would allow us to simplify the electroneutrality condition. And so that's what it does. It basically, we take one and the other, and uh, we make that uh, approximation. And so these are pretty good approximation when we have um, a strong uh, dependence of the defect concentrations on, on temperature. They tend to be orders of magnitude. And so these tend to be good. So let's go through and just write out all the possible uh, Brouwer approximations for our MO uh, system. All right, so uh, again, we basically pick one positive and one negative, um, and we write out the uh, condition. So if we just kind of start with this, uh, so uh, electron um, holes, and so that's gonna, and then we assume, so that's our one positive, and this is our one negative, and so that's our first. Right, so we're just, you know, we're kind of just going through the different combinations at this point. And then two, uh, we can still pick electron holes, uh, but instead of uh, electrons, we pick the um, metal vacancies. And we leave the, the two there as well. Three, uh, now we move to this one. So we have two oxygen vacancies, and that equals electrons. And then the last one is oxygen vacancies equals the metal vacancies. And in this case, we can get rid of those tubes because they're gonna cancel out. And so we're just left with, uh, with that. All right, so now, um, now that we've kind of identified all the possibles, let's go through and kind of think about all the different uh, regions. So if we're talking about the low PO2, right? And let me just for, for reference, uh, go back to that, that page of work that we did, right? So low PO2, we had this reaction and this was our mass action expression. And so you see that we have oxygen vacancies and electrons, right? So we have these two entities. So if we wanna know what, what approximation, Brouwer approximation, is um, kind of uh, useful in the low PO2 region, we're gonna look for something with those components, with the oxygen vacancies and with um, electrons. And so this one over here, right, it has oxygen vacancies and um, electrons in the, the same kind of range. And so um, that approximation is what we're gonna use to simplify that expression because we have you know, a similar type of relationship. And then high PO2, if we again look at that, and I've got it up here, um, so again, we had metal vacancies and holes. Uh, so if we look for something with that, uh, metal vacancies and holes, right? And so that expression is gonna be useful in simplifying uh, that expression. And in our intermediate, the Schocke defects dominated. So if we go to that page, Schocke defects dominated. And so that was um, both metal vacancies and oxygen vacancies. And if we look for that one, that was the last one we worked with. And that was that those two are equal. 
And so that one's going to be helpful for solving that region. And if you kind of go through then, uh, the only one we have left that we didn't use was this one, and that's tied to intrinsic electronic defects, and that was our minor species in this region. Um, and so when we're looking at the dominant species, we're going to stick with this one, uh, but we may use this uh, later. So these are all the valid uh, Brouwer approximations um, that simplify the electroneutrality statement, along with all of the expressions for mass action. What we're going to do in the, uh, the next videos uh, is we're going to use all of that information that we've just kind of pieced together, and we're going to see if we can construct the Brouwer, Brouwer diagrams, see if we can kind of uh, get the same slopes uh, that they get in the region that you see in the Brouwer diagram. And so that's what we're going to do in the next ones, is we're going to work and look at each different defect species and see if we can conclude what the relationship of that species concentration is with the par oxygen partial pressure. So that's what we'll do in those next videos.